Good morning. I wanted to do a video today um, kind of regarding a comment that I made on a friend's post yesterday, I think it was, um, about alpha and beta personalities. And when I read it, I got to thinking, you know, I hope it didn't come across harsh or wrong or, um, you know, we all, males and females, have um, certain personality traits um, that kind of developed when we were children, uh, and it's just part of our genetics, um, and also could be, like, learned as well as just, you know, when we're between the ages of three and seven, um, a child develops their personality. Um, and it kind of stays with them throughout life. Of course, we have outside influence from parenting, poor parenting or, you know, parents that are aggressive or abusive or manipulative, you know, that kind of hinder our growth and kind of blind us from who we really are at our core. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about the differences between like alpha and beta in the masculine and feminine, um, you know, that we naturally have as men and women. So for me, I am, I like to call myself an alpha female. I may not come across as one. I, I am learning how to be more in my feminine energy and being a parent, a single parent, Primarily over the past 15 years, um, I've kind of had to be forced into a masculine role for my children to raise them as the best that I can, being both the father and the mother <laughs> in the household. Um, and in not so many words, you know, I've had some pretty bad uh, relationships with men in those 15 years that you know, I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying, I said all that to say, I've had to be more than just their parent. I've had to, um, you know, I've put trust in other people to, to step in and, and help in that area, you know, as far as the male role model. And it didn't succeed. So it did, you know, it did affect my kids, of course, especially, well, all three of them in some way or another. Um, anyway, getting on the subject, I kind of wanted to talk about alpha personality. Um, so for me, you know, like I said, they're both male and female, alpha males, alpha females. And I knew, you know, f just looking back as a child, I've always had that alpha personality. And what I mean by that is... I know who I am, you know, even though there were a lot of outside influences um, to try to throw me off of who I know, you know, who I know about myself. I know who I am and it's even, you know, I've, it's developed more um, over the years as well um, with, with growth and healing and things like that. Um, we contribute to society. We have a drive. We have a desire to give to society in some way or another, whether it be to serve um, or just contribute to be, to just to be, uh, um, you know, to give, you know, in general. Um, confident, we are confident. Like I said, there, there's things in the, in, the, in the world, you know, the outside influence that could throw us off of that course and and it always they always there always will be um we're competitive we're resilient that's a big one because although we do have outside influences whether it be um poor parenting or just the different traumatic events that's happened in our life we are resilient and we we can always adapt we can always um overcome but we know who we are to our core and that's you know we're we're confident in that and we're we're assertive you know, and that's, that's another thing I wanted to kind of, you know, there's three different types of communication and person in personality that's assertive, aggressive, passive, um, alphas can be assertive, 
or they can be aggressive. There's a difference. So getting back to the comment that I made, I don't want people to have the misunderstanding of what I mean by a beta male um, or beta personality type because there's some good in both beta and alpha. And of course there's others, there's what, two other types, but we're talking about alpha and beta. So with a beta, they're more of passive. And that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Um, there could be kind of, and I get what I'm getting to is, and beta can be more, they're more passive. They're more, you know, they're not so much wanting to contribute to society. They're more extremely laid back and they're kind of like go with the flow-ish. And that's good in some ways. So don't get me wrong when I say that I'm turned off by beta men um, I am in the sense that because I'm an alpha, um, uh, to me, an alpha man is more attractive because he's more on my level of, you know, being in that masculine alpha mindset is highly attractive to an alpha female to myself. I'm not going to talk for all of them because some alphas probably want a beta man. I don't know. But I'm at the place in my life where that's all I've had were beta, and they don't work for me. I'm very assertive. I know who I am, and I, you know, it's attractive to me for a male to be the, in that same mindset. They contribute to society. They're confident. They're comp they, they, com they like to compete in a healthy way. Um, you know, of course, they're resilient and they have an assertive communication type. Uh, uh, they're assertive, not aggressive. Aggressive is controlling, which some alpha males, especially narcissists and females, can be, you know, very controlling. And that is not attractive at all. So there has to be a healthy balance in those two. Um, you know, and that's why I wanted to kind of frame out and, and paint this picture of the assertiveness is more of leading by example. Uh, an alpha male who leads by example. Um, an aggressive person or aggressive communication, they, they're more controlling. Like, this is how you do it, do it this way, and that's it. To me, an assertive alpha is more. Um, this is how it, this is how it is, but let me show you. Do you see the difference? Um, so it's highly attractive for alpha female like myself. Um, they're open to learning. That's huge. You know, we always we're never gonna be. Are never gonna know everything. There's always something to be learned. Um, and there's always things to be taught. I mean, that is, that is super attractive to me. Um, I always want to learn new things. Like I'm a sponge for knowledge. Um, they, and, and it's, people might get this kind of mixed up because it's more of a beta personality, but the ability to be subservient, that all falls in the ability to learn. You can still be an alpha and want to learn. To be a good leader, you know, you have to learn. I have this slogan that I go by. Um, how does it go? The best teachers are better students. We have to be. Um, have great communication. And that, that, that says so much. You know, the ability to communicate effectively, the ability to communicate and get your point across, the ability to lay a foundation so beautifully for people to understand, you know, and it takes, it takes a lot for someone to get to that place. I know I'm one of them. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, they take ownership and accountability. A lot of people look at this as, oh, this is more of a beta personality. A true alpha, male or female, take ownership when they screw up and accountability. 
they apologize. They, um, you know, they're able to say, hey, I, I messed up, I'm sorry. You know, that is a true leader, alpha, confident, someone who knows themselves. Um, <clears throat> and they're, you know, I kind of want to end on this because I'm already 10 minutes in. Um, these are two, I mean, the greatest question when you're talking in terms of relationship is, are you being the man or woman you could see your child with or your children with? That is the question that always stays in the forefront of my mind. Am I being where I'm at now a good example for my kids, for my sons? Um, am I being a good example for my daughter to be the best wife she can be? Am I being the good example for my sons um, in framing out the type of woman that I could see them being with or marrying, I should say. Because we always, my kids and I have always, uh, it's always long-term relationship. That's just how they were raised. We don't, you know, I, I've raised my kids to, you know, don't be intimate unless you love somebody. Of course, that wasn't always like that. It was like, don't be intimate until you're married. But that was back when we were really religious. Um, but to love and have an emotional connection with somebody is highly important. Um, without that, for me personally, I can't, you know, I can't be intimate unless I'm emotionally connected to somebody. Um, and then another one, uh, and I kind of want to end on this because I want to do another video talking about this entirely. And it, it kind of goes with the alpha and the feminine masculine dynamic is nothing more beautiful than seeing an alpha male and alpha female with polarized dynamics around their masculine and feminine attributes. So, stay tuned for the next video because that, that's a mouthful right there. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I meant regarding that statement. Nothing bad against beta males because, you know, they have good qualities too, but um, it's very attractive to see a man who knows who he is and what he wants and, and does things um, and shows and leads by example and can be subservient and learn and open and because that's how I am. Anyway, have a good day. Stay tuned. I'll probably do that video today.